Having trouble with navel orange worm in the orchard? Sidetrack, now miso mating disruption is your best bet to minimize loss and maximize profitability. Used with Tresse's new multi-gender lures for your monitoring program, you can achieve the quality yields you deserve. Contact your local sales rep today. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Ag Network reporting to you here today with Steve Ewart from the California Department of Water Resources. Um, they, they have a lot of features there and, and what he's working with is, is the, uh, the CIMIS program, which some people may be familiar with as, as the, you know, measuring the evapotranspiration rate. You got weather stations all over the state. You know, can you tell us a little bit about the program? Because I think a lot of people are familiar with it, but there's some new fe newer features that are maybe less known that, uh, that people should know about. Sure, well, we have, we are the California Irrigation Management Information System. We have about 145 automated data collecting weather stations throughout the state to provide reference evapotranspiration to help people manage their irrigations efficiently. And that's critical because, I mean, ne you never ha have it, has it been more critical for us to stay on top of our irrigation practices on the farm, you know, with, with Sigma and all these regulations coming down on us, right? Sure, that's exactly true, and we want to help people to manage their resources efficiently so they can save money, hopefully increase yield, and use water effectively, so what we're after in the long run. Right, so what are these uh, other features that are maybe lesser known that, that growers should know about? There are two features that are lesser known but have been in place for quite a while. One of them is spatial simis and the other is email data into your inbox. So for spatial simis, we're aware that there are gaps of coverage of simis data because weather stations are not always close together. So if you happen to fall in one of these areas where there is a gap, you can use spatial simis. And the way that works is that we use remote sensed solar radiation instead of that which is measured at the SIMA stations. And then we're using that remote sensed solar radiation to use also the air temperature, relative humidity, and wind speed from, the, from a close by SIMA station to come up with a calculated estimate of reference evapotranspiration at your specific site. So you can go on to the CIMIS website and in the website you can find where the spatial CIMIS information is and you can literally pick your specific spot by either coordinates or by address or even by clicking your specific spot on a map to come up with a spatial CIMIS for your specific spot. The other feature we have that's been there for quite a while is an email scheduler. So you can set up in a special spot on the website that's called My Reports. You can enter in your specific stations that you might want or even your specific spatial SIMIS spot that you've picked also. And you can pick out a feature to have SIMIS data emailed directly to your inbox so traditionally, the way you've always accessed data is to pull it off of the web. This saves a step. This is brought in directly to your inbox. You can select it to come in on a daily basis, a weekly basis, or even a monthly basis. Probably most useful on a weekly basis. Well, that's great. Those are great resources that growers can and, and should take advantage of. Like we said, with the you know how critical our water use efficiency has become these days uh, also to make sure that we maximize the the value of our crops you know and, and providing adequate uh, you know irrigation for those so thank you for taking the time be sure to visit their website i'm matthew malcolm californiaagnet.com